So as I was halfway through editing my previous video analysis, we got some huge news for Hexo shareholders. Hexo has struck a deal to acquire Xenobis in an all-stock transaction at a rate of 0.01772 Hexo shares per Xenobis share outstanding. At the time the deal was announced, this implied a value of 235 million Canadian dollars. Hexo's share price has pulled back a little since then, giving the deal a current value of approximately $212 million. I've spent a great deal of time over the last three days looking over the terms of this deal, Xenobis's financial statements, and considering the implications for Hexo long term. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I've learned uh, and my overall thoughts on the acquisition. First, I'll give a brief overview of Xenobis for those of you who don't know this company. Then I will go over the pros and cons of the deal and how this could add to Hexo's ability to generate long-term value for shareholders. Xenobis is currently the sixth largest Canadian cannabis producer by net revenues, with nearly 89 million in sales over the last 12 months. Despite this, their valuation is extremely low, with a market cap of around 127 million and an enterprise value of 250 million. For context, Hexo is worth about a billion dollars, despite only having slightly higher revenues. The stock is trading dirt cheap primarily because the company has issued massive amounts of debt and even more shares in order to keep their business afloat. I think that this acquisition could be useful in several ways, but make no mistake, Hexo is essentially bailing out Xenobis here, and had they not been acquired, there was a very real chance that this business could have gone under. So what is Hexo getting out of this deal? First, they will increase their net property plant and equipment by around 192 million, upping their production capacity by over 75% to a total of over 260,000 kilograms annually. Management also expects to realize 20 million in cost saving synergies within one year of close. They will also gain some brands of value, particularly Namaste's Ultra Sour Strain, which I think, in my opinion, is one of the best products on the market. Uh, plus, their larger presence in pre-rolls as well as their bulk value re-up brand. The deal also gives them a foothold in the European market with an existing facility and uh, agreement to supply medical cannabis. Eventually, this could also be leveraged to provide recreational products as regulations change over time. As part of the terms of the deal, Xenobis will also be divesting their stake in Bevo Farms, a produce and flower grower, which will reduce their debt load by $50 million. I think this is a great move by management to both clean up the balance sheet and focus operations on the core cannabis business. Unfortunately, this will still leave Xenobis with around $62 million in high interest debt, which will increase Hexo's total debt load to about $150 million. Now, this isn't really so bad, as Hexo has $150 million on cash uh, on their balance sheet right now, so this certainly isn't a concerning level of debt. And I believe Hexo should be able to refinance a lot of this debt to a much more reasonable interest rate as they are a far less risky borrower than Xenobis. But still, this is a negative factor in the deal, and we should continue to closely monitor Hexo's debt load in the future. Another factor to consider is that this acquisition is an all-stock deal. This means that Hexo will simply issue shares to existing Xenobis shareholders, so that Xenobis will end up owning 12.5% of the combined company, rather than purchasing the Xenobis shares with cash. I think this is a smart decision, much better than adding debt to the balance sheet to fund the acquisition. It gives management much more flexibility and keeps their balance sheet cleaner. Overall, my feelings on this merger are mixed but leaning positive. The pros are that Hexo will be able to immediately increase their revenues and production capacity by close to double. The cons are the added debt load, as well as the fact that there is some overlap in the brands they are acquiring with Reup and Original Stash. I think Hexo's main goal behind this move is to vastly increase their capacity uh, and reach at a very cheap cost. I'm not knowledgeable enough to say what the cost would be if they were to purchase the land, build the facilities and infrastructure, and install all the machinery 
but I'm guessing that simply acquiring Xenobis's existing supply agreements and facilities is a much cheaper option. There's no doubt that Xenobis is trading extremely cheap even after the broad cannabis rally over the last few months, so I see this as a large supplier in a strong financial position, snapping up a smaller struggling company at rock bottom prices. I will continue to wait to see additional progress on this deal, uh, but for now I remain bullish on Hexo and will continue to acquire shares. Thanks for watching the video today, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this acquisition in the comments below. And look out for more content coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video when it's released. I'll see you guys next time.